Do you find that breakfast time, lunch time, or dinner time is like a war battle zone with your child? I definitely have had that experience myself as well. So how can we promote a healthy diet and also nutrition for them? That's a great question. Hi, and welcome here to today's topic. I'm really looking forward to diving into this here with you. And just also very quickly before we get started, for those of you who are new, my name is Yvette Rose. I'll be your facilitator for today's topic. And also, I'm best well known for having written this big book, which is The Psychosomatics of Children. It's a big book. And here you'll find the psychosomatics of children and their stress and elements behind it. And as well, maybe if they have psychological stress as well. This book is going to help you to understand what is going on in that little mind and what is their body's biology also trying to express. And parents, I did not forget about you. Yes, we also have the adults version. This one is for adults. So psychosomatic stress for adults and the elements and psychological stress as well. And you can find all these books on Amazon or at evetbooks.com. And also, I invite you to join my intuitive body workshop. Join me there because there you will learn how to read the body like a book. Learn to understand what certain psychosomat psychosomatic messages in the body means. How to read your own psychosomatic messages. How to read someone else's. How to read your child's psychosomatic messages as well and improve your intuition on top of that and every Wednesday also join me for my master classes we will be diving into really really in-depth topics very short paced fast track master classes so you can always watch the replay if you're not able to join us there so it's absolutely worth it because you're going to learn and heal a lot and we always end the master classes with the healing meditation now let's dive into today's topic a healthy diet for your child and how to establish that because we know that a healthy diet and nutrition for our children is one of the most valuable gifts that we can give them because establishing good eating habits early in life not only sets the foundation for a lifetime of wellness but it also helps to prevent various health issues so today we're going to be exploring some practical tips and strategies to ensure your child maintains a balanced and nutritious diet be a positive role model. Now, children learn by example. And if they see that you are enjoying a variety of healthy foods, they are more likely to follow you. So share mealtimes together as a family, making it pleasant and also a positive experience. And what also helps is if you can start to actually make food in funny shapes. They love it. And sometimes you might not be able to cut the food into different funny shapes, but you can lay it out on the plate into like a face or a shape that you know they will love. Introduce a variety of foods. So expo expose your child to a wide range of foods from an early age and incorporate like fruit and vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, dairy products also into their diet. And remember, what you always can do is Put it in funny different containers, in shapes or things that you know they will love to help them to make it more fun. Maybe they don't like yogurt, but maybe you can freeze the yogurt and blend fruits with it to make it sweet and give it different colors, different textures. Maybe you can make pancakes with fun vitamins or, you know, nutritious pancakes and you can take different um, fruits that will give it a different fun color or you can make banana pancakes if they don't like eating bananas. This is all really fun ideas of how you can help your child to start to eat healthier. And you can also get eggs, egg shapes. You can get the egg shapes, you can crack the egg open and cook the egg into different fun shapes and put tomato sauce and draw like little faces on it. There's so many fun ideas. The possibilities are endless. Create also a colorful plate. So encourage your child, for example, to eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables. Different colors signify, for example, different nutrition. So aim like a different variety in every meal. So if they eat, for example, like a purple fruit, their hair will grow long. Or if they eat like a green fruit, they will get strong, big muscles like the superheroes that they admire. So this is fun ways that you can explore to present, for example, like colorful foods, making it more adventurous. Now we all know this one very well. Limit processed foods and sugary drinks. Minimize your child's intake of processed foods, sugary snacks, and also sugary beverages. These items are all often tremendously low in nutritional value, and it can lead to a lot of health problems like obesity, tooth decay, and intestinal gut problems. Emphasize 
whole grains. Whole grain foods over refined grains whenever possible because whole grains such as brown rice, whole wheat bread and quinoa, these all provide an excellent source of fiber, nutrients and also promoting healthy digestion. Encourage healthy snacking. So here, opt in for nutritious snacks like fruits, fresh vegetables, yogurt, nuts, or cut up vegetables with hummus. And one thing that I love to do that my daughter loves is that I blend different fruits together and I have these tiny little popsicles or icicles that I will put it in, freeze it, and give it to her like an ice cream. She absolutely loves it and she gets all the nutrition that she needs and I actually steam and blend some broccoli or other fruits that she normally doesn't like into it because the other fruits flavors overwhelms that flavor of the broccoli so she still gets everything that she needs. Get creative with cooking. Now this is one that I love and our daughter also absolutely loves it. Involve your child in meal preparation. Let them choose also recipes, watch the vegetables and also help with simple cooking tasks. Now this type of hands-on approach can really help them to make a lot more interested in healthy food and as you cook you can tell a story about each food type and vegetable and what they are good for and how they can support and help her body to grow. Set regular meal times. Now establish here a consistent meal schedule with a designated meal snack times because this routine actually regulates your child's hunger and it encourages them to also eat balanced meals and also to eat with you. One thing I've learned with my child as well is to avoid using food as a reward or punishment. So refrain from using that as a way of maybe rewarding good behavior or as punishing behavior because this can create a very unhealthy relationship with food and can actually lead to a emotional eating. Encourage hydration. So staying hydrated is crucial for overall health and also to promote water as the primary beverage of choice. And of course, limit sugary drinks and fruit juices, which can actually be very, very high in added. And educate your child about food choices. Help them to learn and understand what is bad food and what bad food does to you. You can even go on YouTube and Google videos that can show a child what does bad food do to them if they eat it over long periods of time. Maybe it can give them ailments, show them rotten teeth, show them bad intestinal gut flora. This will all help them to understand the actual real true impact of unhealthy food. And if your child doesn't want to eat, what I've done with my husband and I, what we did with our daughter Zaya, is we actually showed her videos of children in Africa that is dying of starvation. They are so skinny that these children are on the brink of their deathbeds. And we show her these videos and we tell her and help her to understand how fortunate she is to have a wonderful healthy meal. How fortunate she is to have a glass of water standing in front of her because these children would do anything to have what she has right now. And for her to not just eat, it's not to, it's not to punish her to eat, but it's to help her to appreciate the privileged position that she is in because it just even eating can be taken for granted because it's always available. So to help a child to understand their their position in life, meaning how privileged they might be above other children and to value and to appreciate food, to value the nutrition that they can get from that, to grow and to be healthy and to not be as ill and sick as these children who do not have access to food every day as them. This has helped her to actually start to practice gratitude for food. Now when I give her something, even if she doesn't like it, she still says, thank you for my food, mommy. So this is something that she started to do all by herself. So there's an understanding, something clicked. And you might have a different approach or strategy to that. You might not agree with mine, but you might have a different way that you would like to explain to your child. Maybe you can have a plant. You can explain if you don't put water into the plant every day, the plant will die. And your body's the same. You can have a plant and you can say, well, if you don't put water into the plant every day, the plant will feel very sick and very weak. So it's very important that we put water into the plant every day and your body is the same as this plant. We have to keep putting water into the plant to be healthy. And that means we also have to keep putting food into your body to keep it healthy. But the food must be healthy because if you put bad water into the plant, the plant will still stay sick. So this is just some really cool, fun ideas that you can play with and to help you to 
connect with your child over eating time. Parents, thank you so much for being here with me. And until next time, be the light that you are.